so hello my friends from the banks those who are going to join banking this is another video on loans I have uh, already shared a lot of videos so how to open a term loan in uh, Finacle system the command for that is H O A A C L A I will tell you the steps so please subscribe to my youtube channel and press bell icon besides that i have live videos on banktechskills.com log in there with any email id and password you can have access of lifetime access of all the videos of finical and various topics of the banking i'll be uploading very shortly so this will be it and the platinum module is the best so kindly do subscribe and i'm getting an overwhelming response thank you so much the process of opening a loan account is H O A A C L A. That is the main command that we type on the menu shortcut. Then process of creating a verification of sanction reference number. Some banks have this that before opening the account they should have a reference number. The command for that is C B S R S. It's a very simple process, and we can choose overdraft, cash credit, or overdraft, whatever we like, temporary overdraft. For a short term period, we can choose any of the loans or even term loan also. So H O A A C L A, that is the main menu shortcut. Click on Go. Term transactions screen appear. This is the screen when you click on Go here. Here is the command that you will be typing on this one option, right? Then general details. Account interest details, loan details have to be entered. These are the tabs. Make a note of these tabs that will help you in because if you get into a tab which is you are not supposed to enter, may create a problem for all of you because you have to fill some some data there and, and only then the system will allow you to go to the next um, uh, this um, next module, right? To the next tab, uh, this uh, data, next tab. So after that LA interest, visit that tab, payment schedule, how EMI would be generated, you will be able to see the amortization schedule, if there is any refinance or subsidy, but you have to visit the tab. MIS codes is very important when you generate any report of your loans accounts, the proper classification is done. And what all documents have you taken, you can scan them if scanner is available. So that creates online uh, storage of the documents. Then what is the sanction limit, account limits and related party details. If there is a more than one joint account holder in the account, we can have its uh, related party details also. He can be a customer of the bank or he cannot be a customer of the bank. Tabs are mandatory even if there are no field updated to be done. So these tabs are to be visited. Make a note of it in a diary. And that will help you in the while you are working in a finical in the banking system otherwise also. User must visit the above tabs compulsorily and verifier has also visit uh, to all these tabs before he approves the process. So KIF ID has to be entered. The first we have already created KIF ID. Maybe he is having a deposit account with us. So KIF is already available. Customer information file. Then scheme code. Scheme code should be selected with help of searcher as it will populate the general ledger subsidiary head code. Then sanction reference number. Who sanctioned the case, right? This was generated as per the previous steps. Then again click on go in the system. It will take you to the screen. Open automatically will appear here. This is the KIF ID here. This is soul ID automatically this will be populated. CCY that is currency INR right and then scheme code you have to choose the we are choosing a term loan for car loan vehicle loan so this is the you choose from the searcher and sanction reference number wherever the banks have this you can enter that also usually most of the fields would be populated as per the parameters set as scheme code level as per the requirement of the bank Certain data would be populated from the KIF of the customers, like names and uh, son off and so on. Then account statement, select appropriately from the drop down options. You want monthly email statement, customer wants email, 
or he wants by courier he wants a person uh, of his own company to take the statements mode of operation who will be operating the account if there are authorized signatures signatories are there their kyc has to be done account interest tab so system displays the account interest tab whichever tab is available with that account will be reflected here so this is the screen you can see all these these are the screenshots so his name appears here right and date of sanction and everything appears in mode of operation it is statement quarterly weekly day next day and uh, dispatch mode post if it is a holiday right all these will populate so once you go into the live screen and i have shared these live videos on my website that is banktechskills.com kindly visit it that will help you a lot then loan details floating to maturity right so it will be floating rate of interest v then uh, interest details collect interest yes we will be charging interest rest you don't have to change interest compounding frequency no compounding has to be done rest whatever is there leave it as as, as it is don't tinker with it account refreshment preference interest if you are giving any preference interest to him interest rate code this will be automatically populated whatever interest will be charging into it right so loan amount loan period what is the repayment period 5 years 8 years 7 years la interest tab system displays la interest tab here so all these tabs are mandatory so this is the interest tab here so loan type this will be appear here all these when you are seeing the live screen and i have shared live videos again i am repeating whenever screenshots are coming so they are they are more clearer there and i have give you uh, first hand uh, experience in opening the account that you will find it better that is very useful payment plan system displays payment plan amortization schedule would be displayed payment plan tab is customized based on product features user should not disturb the values so this is the screen here don't change any field this is automatically populated as per the uh, types of loans that we are opening right collect interest yes period interest no whatever you want to make it right principal demand over to you that has to be no also right so when you will see my live videos on my bank site uh, bank tax uh, skills uh, website you will learn a lot you can pause those videos you can make a note of it so you will become a versatile banker then payment schedule what is the payment schedule what is the emi emi should be zero within the repayment period right the balance should be zero displays payment schedule tab so this is here you can see here request uh, equated monthly installment yes here yeah, this is a emi loan right then we have ei type it is has to be area not advance not interest in advance only area number of installments automatically has populated to 60 here interest start date it will interest is charged in the loans on monthly basis it will start on the next month immediately instantly then installment frequency when you have to deposit the emi monthly day which day that is sixth day if it is a day then you can be a next day holiday if it is a holiday next day would be your emi would be deducted and calendar has to be gregorian in any case right and uh, you can see all these uh, tabs in my website you will find it very easy to use it you can pause the videos you can make a note of it that will become very easy for all of you right so this is more clearer here number of installments 16 interest start date interest frequency monthly weekly 6th of next month emi would be deducted and uh, author author uh, authorize schedule after holiday period no so don't tinker any other thing right
amortization schedule in which all the 60 installments would be displayed there and at the end there should be a zero balance so system displays loan amortization schedule you can count on that this is here so you can see your amortization schedule when you click on validate it will show you the all the 60 installments installment due date next month right and installments EMI so all these are given here all these tabs are given here scroll bar scroll down little bit at system displays payment schedule screen right so this is the payment screw I was talking about amortization schedule at the end this balance should be zero right this balance should be zero here when you scroll this sidebar it will show you zero balance after 60 installments right so you can see principal interest component of the whole EMI EMI remains constant but principal and interest keeps on changing interest keeps on increasing the principal keeps on increasing interest keeps on decreasing whenever EMI is being deposited then you validate to find out if you have committed any error before submitting it's a good way of doing it if it everything is okay it will allow you to submit the first validate it will show you the errors you can correct it in case if it is there then submit and you can do it click on ok system displays payment scheduled tab here you can see the screen here then MIS codes are very important for classification of the loans agriculture non-agriculture priority sector export all these are to be entered right so these are here again payment schedule is here EIDEM installment ID installments starts from 6th of November 2015 60 installments are there you can see it and various codes MIS codes has to be filled very correctly right these are the codes here you can add codes later on these are left blank banks wants more classifications that they can modify these blank tabs here right then document details you can scan them if scanner is available temporary overdraft cash credit overdraft then it's related party details if there's any joint account holder his details have to be entered an authorized signatory his details have to be entered and you can enter as many details as you like in related party details on the left hand side you will appear add keep on adding and enter the details here 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 you can see my cursor here add here right so if there are more than two signatories you can add these their details and scan documents if scanner is not there put it no n otherwise scan it it's good to scan the documents there will be a permanent record for your safety also joint account holder details are captured here by linking KIF of the joint account holder and the main holder covered earlier in the chapter CASA accounts opening and modification and finally you submit and you get a temporary account number which has to be verified by the verifying officer so this is again a screenshot so it's not very uh, clear because when you will visit my live videos on my website that is banktechskills.com you'll find exactly live videos in case you have any problems do give me do write to me i'll get back to you 100 percent and this is new account id is created make a note of it note it down and accept it right this is here process of modification before verification the command is H O A, -A C M L A this is probably similar to uh, opening of current and uh, savings account earlier modification could not be done by the maker before it was verified so this uh, has been added in new version of the finical right so guys i hope you like the video these are the steps again once again do subscribe to my youtube channel press bell icon you are notified when i share a lot of information banking related plus uh, you can uh, log into my website with any email id password and buy a platinum module i'm going to launch a hindi module gold module soon very soon on my website 
a lot of topics investment uh, products mutual funds insurance bonds debentures i'll be adding already added there how to sales and selling techniques a lot of ppts are also there so i hope you'll find it very very useful so thank you so much